Fog. Uh, that is not your imagination. You look out the window. No, you don't need a second cup of coffee. Indeed, there is fog out there. This is a shot of the airport looking across the runway into Terminal uh, C. 51 degrees. Uh, that sunrise, 720 this morning. So we're only a few minutes away for the official start of the day. Uh, we're going to have this fog around for a few more hours. You see visibility, not a real big problem. We've probably had enough wind in most locations to keep the fog from getting very dense, but visibility is down to a half mile in Cleburne. Just updated in Waxahachie now three quarters of a mile, down to a quarter mile in Bowie, and that's about the threshold where you start having some problems driving around. Another little problem is that some of the roads are wet. We've had this mist and drizzle going on here through the overnight hours, and especially if the counties off to the east, like in Van Zant County, you're a little bit more prone to run into a wet road, but there has been some drizzle and mist around the Metroplex as well. So be careful out there this morning with the fog and the wet roads. You can see this is 75, and it's just bone dry at 52 degrees in North Dallas. And that south wind will pick up through the afternoon hours, and we'll probably get a little bit of sunshine, but we've got a lot of cloud cover here this morning. Frisco's at 48, East Fort Worth at 50, and you can see everybody's reporting a little bit of a south southeast wind, and temperatures are in the low 50s in most locations. To keep in mind that the average low is 37, and based on the hourlies, the low this morning at DFW is 51 degrees. That's balmy given the time of year here in early February. We've only had 11 freezes so far this season, and we're talking about 43, 43 days away from the start of spring. This time last year, we had 14 freezes, and typically you get about 33. So the last two years, we haven't had a lot of freezes, but what's unique about this year if just extremely unique is that the last freeze was January 8th. That was 28 days ago. The earliest last freeze on record, uh, February 5th, back in 2000. Last year we had a late, uh, an early last freeze. It was February 26th, but January 8th, unheard of. I'm sure we'll have another freeze. Statistically speaking, it'd be about almost impossible not to have another one before we get to spring. Fort Worth live shot, you can see that fog again, 52 degrees hour by hour. We're going from the 50s where you get sunshine into the 70s. I'll explain that a lot in just a minute because not everybody's going to get the sunshine and get this kind of warm up, but we should be into the low 70s, at least in Fort Worth and possibly most of the sections of Dallas as well. And then temperatures will slowly drop into the 60s this evening. Nice temperatures, but that rain and fog and drizzle, it's going to really hang tough on our eastern counties from Paris down to Corsicana. We're going to see these temperatures much cooler, but where that clearing line starts to push into the Metroplex this side and off to the west, we're going to have much warmer temperatures. The difference is going to be 15 to 20 degrees almost, but highs to, uh, by evening will be into the 60s, the temperatures in the 60s. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up with temperatures in the 60s, but the clouds and the drizzle is going to kind of return into the metro area, most of North Texas. And then we do it all again on your Monday. The clearing starts west and pushes to the east, and temperatures are going to be much warmer where the sun shines in our western county. So today we'll have temperatures in the mid-70s out in Breckenridge and Graham, and we'll be into the 50s only in Paris for highs. And then tomorrow, where we get more sunshine and very breezy conditions, we're talking about highs in the 80s, especially in our western counties, then much cooler to the east. So we got highs today in the metro area around 70. We're in the 80s a couple of days in a row. Wow, February. And then you see the next front. We're going to be in the 60s on Wednesday, and on Thursday, we're going to have highs only in the 50s. But we're not talking about any appreciable chance of rain. I mean, we've got a little fog and mist around this morning, maybe tomorrow morning, but that's it. We go into the work week dry. Yeah, the